The seven night Eastern Caribbean cruise on the Disney Wonder was one of the best vacations my brother and I have been on ever. It was just, it was amazing. It was so much fun and being able to spend time with my brother was the, the part that really made it extra magical for me. But a very common question that I've been getting since I got back was, Michael, which do you prefer, the dream or the wonder? So I'm gonna tackle that question as best I can today. Now keep in mind, as I'm telling you my thoughts, I've only been on the Disney Dream for three nights. The Wonder, I had seven nights, so I know a little bit more now, but the Dream, only three, so I hope to do more in the future, but I wanted to give you some of my thoughts now if you're thinking about going on a Disney cruise in the future. The Dream and the Wonder are very different. The Dream is a newer ship, the Wonder is an older ship. You can definitely tell as you step on board and as you experience little things throughout the ship. One thing that David and I noticed immediately was the size of the elevators, and I know what you're thinking, Michael, why, why does that even matter? It, it matters because you step in an elevator and you expect, you know, standard elevator, what, six people very comfortably can fit. Well, this one, maybe four people, and then it got really cramped really fast. So the elevators were significantly smaller. Does that really matter? It's debatable, but it's something that you will notice right away. Something else that we noticed as we stepped on board was that the lobby of the Wonder was much smaller than the Dream. I don't know if it was like shorter in height or like in width. It just, it felt a little bit smaller. Did it really matter? Not too much, but it's a lot of little things. David and I love spending time in those hot tub jacuzzis on the Disney cruise ships. Now on the Dream, there are these two hot tubs that are for adults only that basically look straight out of the ship. There's like, like glass all around. You can see all around you. You can see beneath you. It's an amazing, it's amazing what they've done. But on the Wonder, it's not quite the same. You've got two jacuzzis again, but they're closer to the middle of the ship. Was it a big difference? Not so much, but I think the Wonders were a little bit smaller and didn't have as good a view. Not the end of the world, but again, a lot of little differences. The dining on the Disney cruise ships is definitely fantastic, but if you were to ask me, Michael, which did you prefer? The dining on the Dream or the Wonder? And keep in mind, a three night adventure versus a seven night adventure on the Wonder, I preferred the Wonder. Why is that? Well, the food I thought was just a little bit better. I know it's hard to believe, but I felt the food was better, and I love Tiana's place. You know, for the Wonder, it has an amazing restaurant. It's very, very new. This is a recent restaurant they just added from the dry dock. It is fantastic. I love that live music and the fact that Tiana's there and there's a parade. That just made it so much fun. Now, it doesn't mean that the Dream wasn't fun, too, but there, there are little things that I really preferred on the Wonder, including for Animator's Palette. For on the Wonder, it was really cool. You could draw your own, you know, a cartoon and have it come alive for the dream it was just you know play with the fishes which was also kind of cool with Nemo it was very you know interactive it was fun but I liked the wonder for the dining a lot more before our cruise I was actually a little bit worried about the size of the wonder versus the dream I thought it would be like super super small now was it in reality no it was not but could I tell the difference between the size of the dream and the size of the wonder Yes, I could. It wasn't enough for you to really take a huge note of it, but you could tell. There was less walking in both directions and the different decks. There were fewer decks to go to as well. On the Dream and the Wonder, I had the opportunity to experience the kid clubs on both with Edge, Vibe, and the Oceaneer Club. It was really, really cool. And I've got to tell you, I definitely preferred the facilities on the dream. Now, why is that? Well, first of all, I'm a Star Wars guy before I'm a Marvel guy. I like Marvel, but Star Wars comes before Marvel in my book anyway. Everybody's different, I understand that. So when you have the Millennium Falcon on the dream, I was just, I fell in love with it. It was like, okay, this is where I wanna be, this is my home. So that's the Oceaneer Club for me anyway. But when it comes to Vibe and Edge, they felt a little bit more modern. That's, that's my opinion. Now, whether or not that feels the same way to you, I don't know, but I thought it felt a little bit more modern on the dream than it did on the wonder. Now let's talk about those staterooms. And keep in mind, when I was on the dream, I was in the veranda room. And when I was on the wonder, I was in the ocean view room. So I'm not taking the views into consideration. I'm just thinking about the room size for a minute. When David and I first walked into our stateroom, we were extremely surprised to see that you could almost, there was almost no difference that we could see in, you know, with our eyes. We couldn't really feel any difference. It actually felt a little bit larger. Now, that probably because we had two people instead of three in our stateroom. I understand that. That definitely played a part in it. But it definitely felt equally as large to us. On the Wonder, I only noticed two major differences. Now keep in mind, I wasn't like digging for differences between the Wonder and the Dream, but for me, I noticed two right away, and they both had to do with electronics. When I'm traveling on one of our adventures, I love being able to share the magic, but that being said, it does take a lot of power. So during the night, I usually plug in all of my equipment, whether it's a camera battery or a GoPro, it's plugged in so it can get a full charge. On the Dream, there were tons of plugs, the phone, the camera, the GoPro, everything could be plugged in at the same 
game time and there were extras to spare. On the Wonder, it was very different. David and I looked all over the stateroom and we could only find one outlet that I could use for the phones, the cameras, the GoPro, the batteries. So there was one outlet for all of that. Now luckily I brought one of those adapters with me. So I plugged it into the outlet and then was able to plug several things into the adapter. So that worked out perfectly. But that's just something to keep in mind. If you have a lot of different phones to charge, batteries, cameras, whatever it is, I would bring one of those adapters where you can plug it into the outlet and then plug several things into the adapter. The other thing that I noticed that was on the Dream that wasn't on the Wonder was that card slot that you use to turn all the power on in your stateroom. On the Dream I had to go hunting around looking for like an old credit card to stick in this card slot so I could leave the power on when I stepped out of the room and did something else and charge up all of my devices. On the Wonder I could just leave it plugged in and it would charge for me. I didn't have to look for a card. It was very very easy and it made things a lot more convenient. I'm hoping that the new ships don't have this card slot but I have a feeling they might. Now let's talk about the service and the cast members. And it's very hard to tell the difference between a longer cruise and a shorter cruise. The reason is you really gain a connection on those longer cruises. I heard it before and I didn't understand it. I'm saying to myself, I thought I always gained connections with people. No, this is totally different. You see the same cast members over and over again. They are overly friendly. They want to be there. They want to help. They want to learn your story. They want to talk to you. Or if you don't feel like talking, they won't make you. So it's, it's extra special to have a longer cruise with a fan fantastic crew who's able to you know interact with you talk with you I love it and this has to do with longer cruises versus shorter cruises not as much a, a ship differentiator at least not as far as I know but I love the crew on both ships but I love being able to connect with the cast members that I met on the longer cruise the Walt Disney Theater itself on the dream and the wonder felt very similar to me I could almost tell no difference between the two except for the shows the golden Mickey's is shown on the dream and on the wonder and it was extremely similar except for one one scene featuring Tiana on The Wonder, which was really, really nice. My favorite shows on The Dream and The Wonder were Be Our Guest on The Dream and Frozen on The Wonder. They were both spectacular. I highly recommend it. They're both unique in their own way, so they're worth seeing by themselves truly fantastic shows. Now one of the biggest differentiators between the wonder and the dream is the number of people on board with you. When you're dining or at the shows or just sailing around, you might not be able to tell a big difference. We definitely didn't tell that much of a difference on the wonder versus the dream. The biggest area where I really felt the difference was on Castaway Key. I read about this in advance and I was thinking to myself, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell a difference. I definitely was able to, whether it was shopping or going snorkeling or it was on Serenity Bay or a Cookies Barbecue, we were able to tell a difference. There were seats open that weren't open before, just less people in general, and I felt like it really added to the magic. Now does that mean that when I'm on a larger ship like the Dream, I feel like Castaway Key is too crowded? Not at all. I felt like Castaway Key was perfect with the Dream and with the Wonder. It was just a small difference between the number of people who were there with you. The biggest difference that David and I felt between this last cruise on the Wonder and the the cruise before it on the dream was the length of the cruise itself. Now obviously that has nothing to do with the ships themselves, it just was a longer cruise that we had with the wonder than with the dream and I've got to tell you, the longer cruise added to the magic. I can tell you that right now, being on a longer seven night experience definitely made it a truly unbelievable experience that David and I will never forget. One of the biggest differences that David and I felt between the dream and the wonder was the rainforest room. On the dream, the rainforest room is simply incredible. You have a view where you can look out almost panoramic to the sea or wherever you are. You have your own private jacuzzis. You got these heated loungers. We have an amazing view right there. It is truly an incredible place. I could spend two or three days in the rainforest room on the dream. The wonder by comparison has a lot of those similar amenities like the heated loungers and the showers and the steam rooms. It's missing one major factor though and that's a view. Without that view in the rainforest room on the wonder, David and I felt like one day was already enough. It was maybe too much as it was. We just needed a couple hours and that was the end of it. That's the biggest difference between the two, the rainforest room, the view versus no view. I definitely would recommend going to the rainforest room on the dream, but the wonder, I don't think it's really necessary. Now for the question that I know you want me to try to answer, and I'm going to do my very best here to try and answer it. Michael, if you had the same cruise, the same itinerary, the same days of the year, and 
it's this, you know, two different ships to choose from, which would you choose, the dream or the wonder? It's such a difficult question to answer, it really is. I'm thinking about the dream's jacuzzis with that the amazing view in the rainforest room with the view, and those really, really great restaurants, but the wonder's got even better restaurants and amazing food and less crowded castaway key. Oh, I, I don't know which to pick. They're, they're both magical in their own way. But I want to be able to give you an answer. Which would I choose? Same itinerary, same day. Dream or wonder, which would I pick? It would have to be, drum roll please, the dream. But that doesn't mean that I didn't like the wonder. I loved the wonder. I loved everything about it. It was truly spectacular. There were so many great things about it. And for the price, for the room that we had, even with the shaking, I would do it again in a heartbeat. It was so incredibly magical. But for all of the little updates that you get on the dream, it just felt a little bit newer and I would definitely love to experience those jacuzzis again. Now that being said, does that mean my answer between the wonder and the dream could change in the future? It might. It definitely might. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you been on both? The dream and the wonder. Let me know in the comments below. And your pick between the two, I know it's hard, in the poll right there. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.